Hey everyone, it's LaDawn. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm coming at you with a new video to show you guys a heatless um, curling technique I saw done on actually really fine straight hair, actually naturally straight hair, and I was really curious to see what it would look like on natural hair. So I decided to um, to try it out in this video and take you guys kind of along for the ride. So this technique is really great because it's kind of like a two-in-one hairstyle. So the first part of the technique kind of allows you to wear your hair in a protective style, which is really great this time of year because you can keep your ends tucked in. Um, and then the last part of the technique, like once you take it down, allows you to wear your hair out. It will be somewhat stretched, but you'll have heatless curls. So um, let's get started. Okay, so to do this technique, we'll only need two things. The first thing we're going to need is just some water. This is my water bottle with, of course, H2O in it, along with, I think I have a little bit of um, aloe vera juice in it. That's typically what I put in my water bottle. And then the only other thing we're going to use is a headband. Um, when you're thinking about the headband you use, try to get the ones that don't have that little metal um, piece on it that actually connects the seam because ultimately, you know, that metal can get caught in your hair and end up pulling your hair, breaking it, and you don't want that to happen. Try to find the seamless type of um, headbands. This one I bought um, a bunch of them, like probably eight of them for about maybe three or four dollars at either the beauty supply store or Walgreens. So they're really um, easy to find. I'm starting out on an old wash and go. Um, did this a few days ago and because I've been sick, I haven't really redone my hair. So this is an old, old um, wash and go. So I'm just gonna kind of, I had a bobby pin in, so I'm gonna pull that out. And <coughs> you could start out on an old wash and go. You could start out on um, an old twist out or braid out, even if you had like a flexi rod set or some type of, um, you know, other type of uh, curl former set, whatever. You know, um, you could use any of those with this style. Um, I would, I would suggest that you start on hair that is somewhat uh, stretched. Um, if you're working with a, a wash and go and it has started to get big um, and you know depending upon how your hair you know your hair uh, with my wash and go who's my hair it doesn't necessarily it gets bigger but not I don't get more shrinkage it just gets higher and higher and higher <laughs> which is kind of what it's done so it's still pretty I mean it's it's pretty well stretched so I'm going to work with this, but you could work with your hair in, um, you know, in any stretched state. So the first thing I'm going to do is think about where I want my part. And I don't know if I want it, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and allow my part to be on the side. And I'm not going to be, you can use a comb if you want, but I'm not really that particular about my parts. So this kind of part is fine for me. Um, and... Then I'm gonna just kind of flatten my hair around that. So you can see it's flat here. And then I'm just gonna kind of flatten it just a little bit this way. All right. And I'm gonna grab my headband and I'm going to put it on my head and just kind of slide it down to about my forehead. And then I'm going to start pulling the hair to make sure that it is taut. I don't want a lot of puffiness up here. Um, I want to try to stretch that part as much as possible. So all the way around, I'm just pulling so that I can get as much of the hair down and under the headband as possible. Depending upon how um, fine your hair is, you may have to grab some bobby pins and anchor yours down. You guys know I mentioned in my videos I have fine hair. And so for me, these headbands, they always slip off my hair. They want to slip up. 
So um, I'm actually going to grab a couple of bobby pins and just anchor it down on my head so that I don't have, um, it, it doesn't kind of slip out of uh, place while I'm working with my hair. And I'm just going to add these in the back. And you're going to take your water bottle and you're going to really lightly mist the hair, the hair that's hanging down under the headband. You're not going to really wet up here. Okay. Just lightly misting it, not saturating it. Um, especially if you're just going to do this overnight. Maybe you're not going to wear this as a protective style for a few days. If you're going to do it overnight, you especially want to make sure that you don't get it so wet that your hair is not, um, you know, dry, won't be dry by the next morning. So I'm going to lean in just a little bit so you can see kind of exactly what I'm doing. So I'm pulling this headband down kind of on my forehead, okay? And I'm going to take a section of hair. I'm going to pull this to the side. I'm going to take this hair and I'm going to pull the headband out a little bit and then bring the hair up and then down under the headband. So I've just kind of looped the hair around the headband once. All right. And now I'm going to add a piece of hair from over here and I'm going to add it to this piece that I've already looped through and I'm going to join them together. I'm going to pull the headband again and I'm going to take this and loop it and bring it down again. Okay, so I'm going to keep on doing this, adding more hair in, and then just looping it over the top of the headband, bringing it down, back through. I'm going to do this all the way around. And then once you get to the back center, you're going to just let that section of hair hang in place for a minute. And if it's easier, you can go ahead and just grab a bobby pin and kind of pin it down to keep it in place, which is what I'm going to do if I can find my bobby pin. So I'm going to lightly mist this side because it got dry. My hair dries very fast. So it got dry while I was twisting this other side. All right, and I'm going to just do this very same thing. I'm going to grab a section. Bring it up and then down. Sorry guys, my battery died, so I'm going to talk you through the last step. You're going to continue twisting to the back until you only have one piece of hair left, uh, just like you had previously on the other side of your head. Um, you're going to join the one piece you have left hanging on this side with the other hair that you pinned into place in the back. You're going to join those two pieces together and then wrap those around the headband until there's no hair left. You can then pin it into place or you can simply tuck it into the headband to keep it stable. And this is what your final result should look like. I've provided a bunch of pictures so you can see what it looks like. This is really, really great uh, for a protective style. You can um, add a beanie to it. You can add cute little headbands to it. You can kind of rock it for a few days as a protective style. And then I'll come back in part two of this video to show you what the curls will look like 
um, and how to style it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and let me know your thoughts. Thanks.